टेड बंडी जॉन मेन गेसी गैरी रिजवे जेफरी डामर आईलीन वर्नर्स आई मीन वट द हेल वॉज इवन हैपनिंग इन अमेरिका एंड सेवेंटीज बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ दीज एग्जिस्टेड एट अराउंड द सेम टाइम एंड Hello everyone welcome back to All Things Cinema podcast today it's going to be a very different video from what i've done so far on the channel because i'm not really talked much about uh series on this channel it's been mostly movies but this time i really want to let this out because this is a series which i recently watched and it has given me nightmares and i just thought you know why not just share my thoughts because this is something that's been also trending on Netflix India and of course I'm talking about Jeffrey Dahmer uh the series called Monster the Jeffrey Dahmer story and also they just yesterday released um uh, the Jeffrey Dahmer tapes which is a three part documentary directed by Joe Berlinger who has also directed uh the Ted Bundy tapes and of course the John Wayne Gacy tapes and the reason why I'm doing this video today it's simple because it's one of the best limited series I've ever seen like you know I've seen a lot of really good mini series like Chernobyl I've seen Normal People and so many others but this one really in in the true crime genre it stands out for me the way Ryan Murphy the director has um uh, you know directed this uh 10 episode series and the way Evan Peters has played this guy I mean I just want to know how difficult it must have been for him to firstly get into the character and then even more difficult to get out of that character you know because things can really get uh, out of control and and you 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 could f- for one you could feel sick after having played that character you know having prepped for it and um, been in the shoes for so long during the shoot and just to detach yourself from that you know it it could be a very uh, disturbing process as well uh, something like you know if you remember heat ledger how he uh was affected by uh the role of the character of joker so yeah so uh evan peters hats off just give him the awards already i'm sure next year he's just going to win every award because he was absolute flawless i mean i have seen so many of jeffrey dahmer real life interviews and this guy just you know uh got exactly what the character required he he had the grip the right grip uh he touched the right nerves probably uh struck the right chords and it just felt all so real i am i'm 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 a fan and even the supporting cast you know uh, the actor who played uh, jeffrey's father the woman who plays his neighbor glenda cleveland both of them really stood out for me as well so amazing job by every department music as a musician i loved absolutely loved the score the haunting scene So yeah uh, even cinematography the color grading it it was um, consciously kept very uh, dimmed and you know very dark throughout uh, the series really really enjoyable series as a true crime fan but also disturbing if uh, you watch it you know from a uh, very human point of view because these are the things a normal human being will not actually uh, go through in his life or if not not even see it around uh in a in a whole lifetime what these people went through at the hands of Jeffrey Dahmer just as as human behavior it's very interesting to you know uh get to understand more about these people you know what they did why they did and uh, what made them do all this stuff um uh, especially the documentaries where you get to also hear directly from the host's mouth so this is actually a very very uh a different kind of a series if i talk about monster because here the screenplay is not linear it's it's actually the series starts from the very end the the night of arrest when jeffrey dahmer's uh, murder spree came to an end and uh, you know his final victim who ended up actually surviving he uh, gets him arrested somehow and uh, then you know the screenplay uh, is kind of panning to and fro from uh, one chapter of his life to another you also go back into his childhood where uh, they they show you know where it all might have uh, started you know how the foundation was laid for him to become what he eventually became and this this is a common factor which i have seen in so many serial killers um uh, uh, lives that you know they 
they mostly have a very traumatic childhood for one reason or the other. Now, out of all these serial killers, why Jeffrey Dahmer stands out? For me, I'll, I'll tell you my reasons. First of all, this was not just a serial killer. He was a cannibal who not just dismembered the body parts of his victims, but also at occasions, he ate them. Another thing which really stood out for me was after his first murder, which when he was around 17, 18, after his first murder, he didn't commit a murder for the next nine years. There was not a single murder in between. And then suddenly, you know, after the second murder, he's on a spree again in the next couple of years, the rest of his victims came. And most of his victims were actually uh, people of color, uh, black gay men and uh, uh, brown gay men. Although he, uh, in, in so many of interviews, he actually, admitted that he was not a racist it was never really a choice that you know he made that he wanted to target black people or uh, brown people it was it just happened so that he found those people attractive or beautiful and and now another thing which which really stood out for me was two members of the same family one of them was killed at the hands of jeffrey dahmer another one was assaulted so these things really just stood out and i think it makes for a perfect true crime story that's why uh, Netflix has made it this time and so yeah I don't know if you enjoyed this video particularly or not but uh, if this is something you watch uh, then put in the comments what you felt about Jeffrey Dahmer and uh